Hey everybody, what's happening? Shadowkiss, welcome back to more Dino Run DX. Last time, we ran through the medium difficulty challenge. This time, we're going to be doing some of the speedrun levels. These are single level games, and I think we'll be going down one row per episode. These can be quite a bit longer than the basic episodes, though. We've already seen some of the gimmicks when we played through Planet D. By the way, there's a Planet D here, but you have to successfully um, beat Insane Difficulty to unlock this version of Planet D. And then there's these ones over here, which I haven't honestly seen yet, but I'm going to eventually. So, let's start off with the basic, Out to Passion. This one's kind of a plain level. In more ways than one, it's quite literally planes. As you can see, we're a heck of a lot faster after our upgrades. Don't need to worry about getting stuck now. Or about getting slowed down. Eat the burp. Oi, you almost got me killed, little guy. Or would have. If I were not Sanic the Dinosaur. These levels, to me, just feel more relaxed. Maybe because they're much more like the levels before the Apocalypse. I mean, there's no levels exactly like the Apocalypse. And that's Alta Pasture completed. See, that was quick and easy. I believe you can get some of the egg or the super eggs off of these, but none of the ones that I need are available in this. Also, you get a different bonus egg, or you get a different colored egg for each difficult. Considering you get bronze on medium, you don't get any if you do it on easy. Now we go to Salty Flats. Wonder what goes through this little guy's mind. Probably, I don't give a dang, I'm Sanic the... Witch Dinosaur. Dinosaur, yeah. This area down here can be a pain simply because all these... Triceratops, I almost called them Tyrannosaurus, and I would've gotten so much hate for that. Oh well. Fun fact, I only learned about the ship or the sprint button dirt, or when I was preparing for this game, or when I was preparing to play the game. Heck, no, I only learned about the sprint button when playing this, I think, for YouTube. I didn't know about it beforehand. And when I discovered it, I just played it cool. Well, and that's that one done. Next, we go to Raining Lizards. This uses the Planet D gimmick from the first level of the Planet D challenge campaign, which is it's Raining Lizards. Oi, you. Think I might have time? Nope, I don't. Okay. I might go back through this off camera. But yes, in order to get that super egg, you're supposed to use the Triceratops as a little footstool. I might come back through this level on easy. This is a very good place to earn bones for the rest of the areas. If you get a single bone per thing you eat, and considering it's constantly raining lizards...
Now this doesn't this look so much faster paced than it did before. And that was easy. For some reason they closed the boulder as soon as you reach over here. Despite the boulder being all the way over here. But it, and also, for some reason you can't survive in that big dang cave system. But you can survive by blocking out a cave system and blocking out most of the air. Oh wait, you don't block out all the air. Because there's a convenient hole over here which doesn't take any damage from the sun explosion wall. Neither does this mountain or the grass around it. Or those trees out there. Eh, I don't care about the logic. Anyway, let's set it to easy real quick. And replay Raining Lizards. This is to go for that egg. Let's just hope the Triceratops is cooperative this time. So we kind of need it to be. Assuming it even spawns this time. I just face through a meteor. It didn't even spawn this time, okay. Well then. I guess that's fine. You can always get it another time. So, now let's actually go to the next level. I'll set it to medium and go to the valley. This one obviously has a huge downhill section mixed with a huge uphill section. The uphill section, now that's going to be the painful one. But you gain a lot of time over the doom while you're going downhill. If only they put a boulder on top of this hill. That's big enough to ride on. You can surf on those smaller ones, but as you saw, they break pretty easy on any bigger dinosaur. As well, they are extremely hard to balance on. Theoretically, you can use any of the boulder sizes, but it's, again, extremely hard to balance on the smaller ones. The ones of this size, yes, you can ride on, but once again, as I've said several times, because I enjoy being repetitive, it is very hard. Indeed. Anyway. You leave all that. We're starting the uphill climb. It that went by smoothly. Okay, I expected that to be more challenging. Heck was that sound? Anyway, we want one more, two more. And while we're doing this, we might as well buy one of these. I think we'll start working on these ones over here, even though we don't need to. I'll buy the one that describes my life. Alright, next is Dino Mam. Let's go. That was probably a bad taste joke. Very much a bad taste joke. I'm sorry.
As you heard, I just sniffled. I tend to have allergies often. Let me check something real quick. Okay, I'm good. Dinosaurs really don't like it when you jump on their heads. Which is a shame, because their heads look so jump up on the ball. That is now a word, by the way. Look at me blowing right through boulders like they're nothing. Though so I'd rather avoid them if I can. Because these power-ups don't last forever. Ow. Safety! Excellent job, we got one more to do on this row. We want Stego Stampede. Alright, let's get running. For some reason, and I don't know why, I expect someone like Jacksepticeye would play this eventually. Simply because it's so adorable. I mean, yes, it's a basic game that is extremely hard to do a playthrough on. This coming from someone who only just started YouTube and is doing a playthrough on it. But it just seems like it'd be difficult. Or it just seems like, despite this being... What I'm trying to say, this game would be good for a one-off video for someone like him. One video on the game and then just leaving it be for the rest of time. But it's, it's such a nice game to me that I feel like doing a whole series. That's why I'm doing a whole series. By the way, this shelter here, this is for hard mode. We are not playing on hard mode. But, I mean, this is the hard mode shelter. I can show you a few things around here, such as this little easter egg saying Pixel Dream Games, which is a company who made Dino Run. That's pretty much the only easter egg. Sometimes, or there's a dinosaur that spawns up in there on hard mode. Which is a rainbow, and I like the rainbow dinosaur. I don't know how to get the rainbow skin dinosaur, maybe they removed it in DX, I don't know. Here's the blue skin that we all know and love, I just fell, crap. I just fell again, crap. I don't know how to jump, guys. Up in here, there's a spawner for the runners. Crap. Crap. I overshot. There's an only slight delay on the stopping. Especially when I'm lagging. And up here, it's just a nice jungle area with... Um... With a pair of eyes. That is a... A bit creepy. Wouldn't you say? I never actually saw those eyes there before. You should sit down all adorably. Hi. Hi as you eat those people. Or lizards. Okay. One more level I think is in there. No, that was the last one. Alright, in that case, next time on Dino Run DX, I think we're going to either tackle these six levels here, after I buy these, which I can't afford Nightfall right now. I can't buy Planet D, because you have to beat the Insane Challenge. So instead, I'll just buy all these, or as many as I can. Next time, we'll finish up these six, and then we'll go on to... These five. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Shadikus signing out.